And when it comes to vegetation and tree assets for Blender, Botanic from Polygonic is one of the asset libraries that stands out, with over 700 plus assets and 75 scatter alongside utility tools to work with, making landscape with Botanic across the board makes life easy. And with every release, the folks at Polygonic have strived to make their products even better, with Botanic 6.7 now bringing more to creators. This ever-expanding library of optimized and realistic 3D vegetation assets is now having an upgrade that deals with animation, as animation has now been added to all of the vegetation assets and particle system with an improved overall performance with all the assets that comes with it, as you're currently doing a 25% off. And for those who like to get this, you can simply go over to the link in the description that can bring you right here, where you can check out all of the interesting, beautiful, and amazing things that is now available in Botanic 6.7. And for those who like to try this, there is a free version that you can grab, and if you like to purchase this right now, this is going for 25% off. And with that said, let's get right into it. So Blender simply open right here. All we need to do is go over to edit, go over to preference and install the Botanic add-on. Now, once you install the add-on, there's a big button that would ask you to integrate this into the asset browser. So what you need to do is hit on that button, give it a couple of seconds, and this would integrate all of the assets that you have with your Botanic 6.7 into your asset browser. And once you have that going, next thing which you need to do is to get your asset browser ready. So we can now switch over and check out the asset browser. So if we go within the asset browser, we can click on drop down and switch this from current file to Botanic. And once you do that, you would find out that all of the assets that you'd be working with gets loaded here. So you need to be quite patient because this is loaded it for the first time and i'm just going to scroll all the way up and check them out now for some reason if you actually click on any of these and you don't see them pop up quickly what you need to do is to select and click on the refresh button and this would automatically reload all of that there so let's get one of these out click drag and drop i do like the idea that this has been heavily integrated into the asset browser as it makes it super easy for you to drag and drop assets within your scene and easily populate them contrary to what we had before which required you to tap N on the keyboard, go over to Polygonic, and then start spawning all of this. So with the assets that we're working with, what we can do is also super easy. So we can select on any of this asset that we want, and we can play with all of the utility tools that exist here. If we would like to have some random rotation, that's good. There's also a couple more that exist right here, which we can play with and see what we've got. And I'll also need to play with the lights just a little bit, just to make sure that we have a couple of lights around. So with the light here, you can play with the brightness, the hue and saturation, and you can just simply have fun as much as you want. Now, the major update for Botanic 6.7 is animation. So how you get to play with the animation is pretty easy, as all you need to do is select the object and then you can add animation to it. So I can click on the add animation and we can select the type of animation that we want. So if you like to have like a wind simple, a wind low vegetation, palm tree, whatever you want. But in this case, we're going to go with the typical best fit and click on OK. So once we do that and hit the OK button and press the playback, I want you guys to see how impressive this playback is. At this point with a single tree, we're getting 20 to 22 frames per second. And this looks really nice. So you can also select the object and make some very interesting adjustments with it. So if you like to increase the strength of the breeze, or maybe you like to play with the animation time, you want to loop this however you choose, you can do all of that. And finally, you can now bake this as a Lembic so you can export it and use it in other DCC tools. So it's just impressive the kind of things that the folks at Polygonic are putting together, especially for the botanic line of tool that they have. And this looks super nice. Now, if there's anything that you like to turn off from here, you can choose to turn this off. And this happens for every single vegetation. Now alongside, it's also worth mentioning that if you're into scattering, you can also scatter stuff across a simple plane or any platform that you want. So how you scatter is just simply clicking on the plus button and you can find any of the scatters from here. So whatever scatter you want to work with, you can simply select that and you can play with the parameters and get the most out of it. Something else to also keep in mind is you can choose to mute your animation at will. So you can select the object and click on mute slash unmute animation. Now, if you like to mute all of the scene objects, you can keep the selection and click on OK. But if you like to mute just selected objects, you can also select that and click on OK. So once you do that and you send this all the way back and press the playback button, you would notice that we don't have any animation on this. And the same thing applies to every other thing. So I can also go ahead and select on this one and we can add animation to it. And we can also press the playback. Let's bounce this all the way back. Press the playback button. You notice that we have the animation. We also have animation running on this one. And we can also set the same thing on these other one. So we can set that and click on add animation. Click on OK. And we can have that to playback. So I can select that. Press the playback button. 
and you can see we have animation running. So let's set this all the way back, select these particles that we have right here. And if we go all the way down, we can also add animation to this. So I'm just going to select that and let's mute the animation that we have here. So let's go over to mute, mute all objects. Now, what we want to do is to have this and have animation running on that one. So at this point, you can also add animation to particles. So the beautiful thing here, or what I would suggest is you need to pick priorities depending on what you want to have animated at a given time. That is the one I would suggest that you turn on animation for. So you can sort of optimize your performance and get the best out of it. So for the grasses, you can see that we have these playing back, which is really cool. Let's start introducing some and see what we can get. So I can turn this on and you can also see that we're having this interesting playback right here. I can also turn these other ones on. We can turn these other ones on. And the more that we turn them on, you would notice that our frame rate per second just simply drops. So it's all about priorities and understanding what to do and how to work with these things at given times. So I would simply suggest that you build up slowly and turn on animation for the ones that you need and get the more performance out of your PC while working with these things and creating wonderful landscapes for yourself. So this is more like it. For those who like to take a look at this and probably you like to explore with it, then links to this is going to be in the description. So do well to check it out. A huge shout out to the folks at Polygonic for making this possible. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.